A community is coming together to help the little girl who was injured in a crash in Warwick. That girl is in serious condition tonight and recovering at Rhode Island Hospital. The man accused of hitting her, Anthony Sudith, was arraigned yesterday on one count of driving to endanger. Police say he was trying to take a left-hand turn onto Greenwich Avenue from King Street when he lost control and hit the girl on the sidewalk. And tonight we're hearing from the little girl's aunt who says the family is still coming to grips with what happened. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Halperin is in the newsroom now with the new details. Eric. <laughs> Mike and Caroline, little girl's great aunt says she is out of surgery for the day and stable, but that there are many more surgeries and a long road to recovery ahead. The mangled fence bent over the grass, car parts still on the ground. It's what's left from when police say Anthony Sudith ran over a seven-year-old girl riding her scooter on the sidewalk on Wednesday. It's all just down the street from where the girl's great aunt, Deborah Violet, lives. Feels like a violation. I feel like the guy came into my house and like hurt a kid. Seven year old Haley is at Hasbro Children's Hospital. Her great aunt says today was a better day, but that they're all still trying to come to grips with what happened. They are in shock. They don't know what to expect. Um, every minute is worrying. According to Violet, along with her mother, Haley was also at the park with her twin sister and two other young siblings on Wednesday when the car came barreling onto the sidewalk. We know the kids are struggling with the whole thing. They're not. It's how do you explain to a seven year old, an eight year old, and a five year old what just happened in front of them and what's going to happen, why their sister's not home? Haley's twin sister took a picture with a letter she wrote. Haley loves princesses, and the letter reads To Haley, I miss you so much. I made a card for you because I know you love all the princesses. Little kids are resilient. They're pretty tough, and uh, she's on our side of the family. She's going to be a tough little kid. And Haley's school has started collecting donations. The Pontiac Village Association is helping out, and the great aunt started a GoFundMe to help out with medical expenses. A link to that can be found on our website, WPRI.com. Live in the newsroom, I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.